Good morning, you guys. I just woke up this morning, as if you probably couldn't tell, but I am dyeing my hair pink today, and I've never done something like this before. This is the Kristen S. Rose Gold Temporary Tint. I've been saying this all over the internet, and honestly, I'm petrified to try it because I know it washes out, but what if it doesn't wash out for me, it's, you know? So I'm gonna test this out today and film my family's reactions because I have a feeling they may be kind of hesitant about it, but we'll see what they think. Bye. So I just got out of the shower and I haven't looked at my hair yet, but now I'm going to blow dry it. I don't usually blow dry my hair, but I really wanna see the color. So, so far it honestly doesn't look like anything happened, like there's no pink in my hair whatsoever it feels like, except this one little patch down here. So I'm going to try and spray it on dry hair and see if that works any better. So this is my hair now in natural lighting. After I did it the second time, I'm kind of letting it air dry because I don't want to blow dry it again because it takes forever. But this is what it looks like now. And when it's completely dry, I'll style it so you can see kind of what it looks like when it's all done. So I threw some makeup on and then I blow dried my hair. So this is the final result. It's not as pink as I thought it was gonna be, but it was still really fun to try out and really easy to use. Do you think I should keep pink hair? Totally. You should start a Twitch stream too. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen. Look at my hair. It's so cute. You like it? Yeah. Oh, you made it pink. Uh-huh. Look at he's not impressed. <laughs> Do you notice anything different? Your hair? Yeah. Is it, wait, wait, is it pink? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple suggestions I would give you if you were to try this out first. Doing this in the shower is kind of hard. You can't really see where you're spraying all of this. So the front has more pink and the back has probably none. I would recommend bringing a dollar store mirror into the shower so you can see where you're spraying it all and you're not really upset if it gets kind of gross. My second tip would be to dry your hair as much as possible. On the back of the bottle, it does say to do it on towel dried hair so you can see if your hair will soak up a lot. So the first time I did it, and you saw that it didn't really soak up any of the color, I had my hair completely wet, and it didn't work at all. And the second time, my hair was 90% dry, and it still didn't soak up as much as I thought it would. The third tip I would have is, on the instructions, it says to shampoo, do the color, then conditioner. As soon as I rinsed the conditioner out, all of the color went out too, so I had to go back and reapply after conditioner anyway. So I would recommend doing it after your conditioner so you get as much color in your hair as possible. Those are the three tips I have if you're going to do this for yourself. I had a lot of fun being able to try this product out. If you have any other products that you would like me to try out, let me know down in the comments. One of my words for this year is fearless, and I'm trying to do things that bring me out of my comfort zone, and this is definitely one of them. It's not as pink as I thought it was going to be, which makes me like it more, but I feel like if it was pinker, I would definitely be very hesitant, but I am happy with the way that it turned out. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.